uh, this weekend, obviously, and um, it'll be the first time that this team faces Darlington Nagby, uh, someone you've known for a long time and obviously played with. What's that going to be like? Uh, it'll be fun. Um, I've uh, I've played against D, I think, two or three times now. I think on other clubs, uh, and it's always a good it's always a good time. Uh, obviously, he's an incredible player, fits their system well, and um, you know, I think his accolades and his skills speak for itself, but. Um, we can't just be wary of him because they have some very, very good players uh, all around him. And obviously he's just uh, you know, a huge link in their midfield that helps him play. But um, you know, it'd be nice to kick him. Uh, besides not responding to my text messages immediately, uh, it'll be good to see him again. Um, uh, before talking about them specifically, one more question on him. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, as someone who's played with him, I mean, what does he bring and what do you guys have to be wary of um, now that he's on the other side of the field? Uh, I think first off, his, uh, his, his possession and his comfortable and his comfort I don't know comfortability or his comfortableness on the ball um, he was a guy that we could look for in the 89 90th minute and we know he would keep it no matter what and obviously you know when you lose that piece you know we have to find different people to play through at times and you know they they know that they can give him the ball at any moment and he'll either dribble out of pressure pass out of pressure or you know can even just explode through spaces so um, we need to be aware that he's just barely going to give the ball away if not you know I know a number of games he played with us where it was 100% passing 100% dribbling and things like that we just doesn't lose the ball so um, we need to be wary of that but like I said he'll hold on to the ball which then will allow the other you know guys in front of him to create space and uh, I think they do that pretty well especially on that giant field down there in Atlanta. And then just Atlanta in general, um, they have the right now the current leader for the Golden Boot um, far and away uh, and have been the best team in MLS so far. Uh, I think they have a few more games on you guys, but um, how, what do you need to do to go on the road and, and be able to get a good result there? Um, I think first and foremost, we need to go there knowing that they're just a good team and it's going to be a, it's going to be a, a very fun game because they're good because of the way they play. It's a big pitch and I know that we can't get a new track meet. That's what every team says against them. Once you start opening up and they get a lot of that space, they start running and then eventually a lot of those runs and those, uh, those penetrating balls lead to, lead to goals. And at the end of the day, they have, you know, a forward kind of like Bradley Wright Phillips, a lot of these guys who are very opportunistic. They don't need six chances to get one goal. They need one or two and he puts it in the back of the net so obviously Martinez scores in bunches and you know he just he's one of these guys that pops up in a lot of great spots makes a lot of good runs off the of defender's shoulders and we need to be aware of him at all times and again um, I think limiting you know the amount of space that we give them will be a big one and I think we just need to collectively buy into defending it's going to be a tough game away as it is for most teams there and I think if we can you know no matter where we defend on the pitch if we can do that collectively we'll, we'll be tough to play against. So I guess what's kind of the focus for you when, as a defender when you're going into a game like this, uh, maybe the priorities that you set for yourself uh, as you have I think obviously, you know, you want to defend well, but then part of that is also just keeping the ball. Um, you know, you don't want to have silly giveaways in bad spots. You don't just want to give away possession blind or uh, aimlessly because at the end of the day, that's just going to result in them being on the ball and you running around that much more. Um, it'll be hot and humid um, as well, so the temperature might play a little bit of a factor. But, you know, we've played in some pretty warm games here, so that shouldn't be too scary for us. But again, you know, besides the fending, it's just keeping the ball. And then, like I said, you know, always just being aware of where their players are. It's not overly focusing on them and saying, well, I don't care what's going on with the ball. I'm just going to follow my man. No, it's just being aware of these guys. And at the end of the day, if we can make them defend, which, you know, some of them are pretty honest players. I'll meet on, we'll track back, and, and he'll do some of that dirty work. So if we can make them defend a little bit, then they'll waste their energy on us as opposed to us trying to ch chase them around. How many times is Diego Chara going to uh, foul Dollar Ellington? I hope he gets him pretty good. <laughs> I think if not, I'll try to. Uh, I, I've been there a lot of times when he's gotten kicked, so I think he, he I, I owe him at least one or two, minimally. <laughs>